Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Troy, and this is the Worst Five Podcast. Uh, so I wanted to uh, start today's podcast or uh, today's episode. Uh, this is going to be the first episode of the Lace series. Um, since uh, I want to save some of the questions that I've received already uh, for future episodes, um, I thought it'd be a fun thing for me to show you what goes on behind the scenes when I film a tutorial. Um, and I'm kind of killing two birds with, birds with one stone here because I'm going to be shooting the tutorial on how to do a garter tab cast on, uh, which that's how I'm going to start this shot. And that's going to be the tutorial this week. Um, so I will probably actually cut out the majority of the actual tutorial out of this video. Um, and I'll have a, like a, a shot of what's going on here in real time up here in this corner of the screen. Uh, <laughs> So that way you can see what I see um, and you can hear all the cusses that happen when I'm, I'm filling a tutorial. Um, yeah, so the new series here uh, is going to be largely unscripted. I do have an outline here, so that way I don't forget anything. Um, but it's going to be largely unscripted. I'll have an outline. Um, and the idea is that this is going to be largely unedited as well. Uh, so really, other than the bits that I'm going to cut out and some curse words in the first two or three minutes that I might uh, let loose <laughs> because YouTube doesn't like curse words. Um, I will largely just be filming this and then uploading it to YouTube. Um, if I can figure out how to um, like connect the camera to my laptop and then bring that to a, like a live stream on YouTube, I'll try to do that but I can't make any promises. Um, so, uh, and then the other thing is um, part of me wants to be able to do this on a weekly basis. Um, most of me wants to be able to do this on a weekly basis. Uh, it's just that I recognize uh, after thinking about it that I'm a little too busy to do that right this second. Um, I do plan in the in fall of next year that um, I'm going to be taking on less responsibilities um, in the musical community. I'm just going to I'm just going to stay with Luminos. I'm, I'm not going to continue with Wind Symphony, I think. Um, we'll see how all of that changes. I'm going to be cutting down a couple of my social engagements that I have, because at this point, there's only two nights a week. No, that's a lie. Um, there's one night a week and one day a week that I don't do anything. And that one day a week that I don't do something is me doing the podcast. So I need to, need to relax a little bit. So for now, this is going to be an every two week thing. Um, I will be using a lot of this footage for the project um, video that is going to be uploaded there in the final week of May. So I've got some time to finish this. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just wanted to clear that all up. Um, so uh, as I mentioned, I'm going to be showing you like the behind the scenes of how I do a tutorial. So this is kind of my setup here. So I've got my ring light. Um, this is the ring light that I use normally. And uh, when I'm recording the podcast lately, I have just been using my cell phone, um, using the uh, microphone uh, clip on microphone that I have here because it uh, it directly connects to <laughs> my cell phone here. And that just makes the sound easier to, to deal with. So that way the cell phone is not picking up um, my voice and then how it's reverberating off my walls at the same time. Um, there's a little bit of a delay. That's the reverb that you're hearing right now. Um, so uh, the rest of the setup here is just, um, I try to uh, set this up so that way you can see just my knitting. Um, ideally, in this case, I will, yeah, from what I can see here, uh, it's going to be pretty, pretty centered. Um, I'm going to do my best to make sure that it stays in focus on the screen. Um, and we'll, we'll go from there. Uh, so you'll notice that when I'm filming the actual tutorial, because I will show the first little bit here, um, like I am going to be like making sweet, sweet love <laughs> with this ring light. Uh, and that is just so that way, A, I can have my hands far enough in front of my cell phone that it doesn't do weird focusing things. Um, and, um, oh, uh, and uh, yeah, I, I just try, need to try to get it focus um, and be able to see what I'm doing because I want to be able to see in with my real sight line um, over my phone. I want to be able to just glance down to see what my phone is picking up um, and all of those fun things. Uh, so uh, I also have to be very cognizant of not like touching the base of my ring light because it is quite flimsy. <laughs> as you can see it jiggling back and forth. 
Um, sorry for anybody who is motion sensitive. Uh, I hope that doesn't make you seasick. <laughs> uh, so that's what I'm, yeah. Um, so yeah, and as I mentioned, I'm not going to be uh, putting the actual tutorial, like when I actually get into it, I'm gonna cut that out of this video just so that way I'm not reusing footage over and over in the same week period. Um, so without further ado, uh, I'm gonna get started. <laughs> Um, yeah. Uh, so the first thing that I, I, I try to do is I, um, you might have noticed that I have been doing like a silent, uh, like a, for some things like a cast on or, uh, uh, well, I think I, I've actually only done it with the cast ons. Um, I've been doing a, uh, like silent with just text on the screen sort of deal just to tell you how to do it. Um, to, to do the very basics. So, uh, and the reason why I'm doing that just is just so that way, if somebody who just needs a refresher on how to do something, they don't have to, you know, go and uh, like clip through 40, 50, 60 seconds to three, five, eight minutes of film just to get to the thing that they just need the refresher on. I just wanted to be able to give people the information that they need if they just need a refresher in 60 seconds. Um, and uh, I've just been putting, <laughs> uh, things up there now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly do the garter tab cast on, do a quiet video of it, which will be clipped down uh, to the thing. And then I'm just going to rip it out. So that way I can explain how to do it. Um, I might speed up this section because it's going to be a little boring for <laughs> you guys here because I'm gonna have my back turned. Yeah. All right, get, get into frame, troll boy. There we go. Frame. Oh, should probably take care of that stuff. Uh, where is my polish remover? Oh, there it is. All right. Okay, so now that's been taken care of because <laughs> I am as uh, silly in life as I seem to be as on the podcast here. All right, so that was the silent version of the uh, tutorial. So now I'm going to rip out all the work I just did <laughs> and tell you how uh, the next step goes. So I, I rip out the work and if I can save the yarn, I do. In this case, I don't think I can, so I'm just gonna go ahead and break it. Set that off to the side, wet my whistle. <laughs> and then do the actual tutorial. Oh. 
I kicked the stand. <laughs> I have to wait for it to stop wiggling. There we go. Hi everyone, I'm Troy, um, and I want to show you how to do a garter tab cast on. It's those anchor stitches where you're picking up to be uh, a little, oh, I used the wrong side. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to, so this is what happens when I can't see everything since what I, what I just did here <laughs> is I cast on and I started knitting with my tail. Um, and that is because I could not see, I could not see where um, my threads went. So I started knitting with my tail instead of my actual yarn here. So I'm gonna rip that out. And since I liked the instruction that I gave and how few edits I'm going to have to make to that instruction. I'm not going to actually teach that instruction again. I'm not going to redo the whole section. I'm just going to tink back these three stitches that I've done. Hold my hold my uh, my tail <laughs> across the back of my work like I should have. And then I'm going to knit those three stitches. And turn my work and pretend like that never happened. <laughs> I hope you found this tutorial useful. Um, and if you want to substitute this uh, cast on here for any of your triangle shawls or any other work that starts in the center back and you're doing increases all along the back, so you have a straight edge there at the top. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. So that's basically how I shoot a tutorial. <laughs> um, so even though a tutorial may on, might only take, um, you know, five, six minutes worth of video time on here, um, my timer here is showing 27 minutes. I'm going to say seven or eight minutes was just me explaining how this all works. Um, so I'm, I'm recording for, you know, upwards of 20 minutes for every five, six minutes of tutorial that you're seeing. <laughs> It tends to be the case for all of my uh, recording when I'm doing recording for the main podcast as well. Um, for an hour, hour and 20 minutes of podcast, I'm usually recording for an hour and a half to two hours, uh, not including setup time, teardown time, uh, like outline and script editing, um, making sure that I have all my projects behind me and reachable. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that goes into the podcast that um, might... Uh, might seem like, oh, you're only doing an hour at a time, but it's you it's usually about four hours of recording. And then it takes me between three and five hours to edit it, not including the hour it takes to actually create the video file and then the two hours it takes to upload it. <laughs> so uh, for every hour of video that you see on the, the channel, there's usually six to eight hours of work behind it. Um, so uh, I not that I feel that anyone has been critical of how much work I'm doing, but I just wanted to give you that um, context and that perspective of uh, how much time <laughs> I'm putting into this. And that's why sometimes my time constraints prevent me from doing as much as I'd like to do. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little, uh, like shooting the shit <laughs> video about doing um, my lace pattern here. Um, and in a couple of weeks, I hope to show you a little bit more detail of what I'm actually doing with this. See you. I'll see you tomorrow, actually. <laughs> Bye, guys.